Indian social structure is highly influenced by numerous social reformers and intellectuals. Similarly, there is a big impact of many renowned saints on it. In Maharashtra, several saints and social reformers contributed in social upbringing through their different approach that made a big imprint on the society and social upliftment. Maharashtra has a legacy of producing great saints whose saint tradition is very rich and has its deep-rooted presence on the social mindset up to the last possible part of the society. Amongst all the saints and social workers, treating social service as next to godliness, working on superstitions, de-addiction, education, and cleanliness and maintaining good hygiene and implementing the thoughts into actions, educating through speech, actions, and real participation in the activities through unique style of functioning, we remember first and foremost name of Saint Gargi Maharaj. Even today, there are many social and spiritual admirers who follow the thoughtful ideologies of Saint Gargi Maharaj. Saint Gargi Maharaj, a mendicant saint come social reformer, was born in Washaman community, a community amongst 12 Palutidas. Balutidar means a hereditary village servant system of 12 traits which was being followed in old Maharashtra. Being from the neglected community, he is one of the most distinguished saints of all time. Saint Karge Maharaj left his home at a very early age after witnessing the prevalent social events like social injustice, superstition, corruption, illiteracy, financial injustice and laziness among the living society. His conscience was deeply hurt and thus he left home with nothing but a nickname Debu to accompany him. Saint Kadke Maharaj left home to voluntarily live in poverty after seeing the innocent society crumbling under the traditional routines, unsanitary conditions and so-called superstitions, religious rituals etc. He never bragged about his social work or thought that he is doing something different. Baba did the social awakening and social upliftment of the society in the field of education and cleaning and sanitation through the discourse form called as Kirtan. Downtrodden sections of society should get the basic education was the vocal approach of Gadge Baba and he spread this message through social awareness leading to social awakening. Gadge Baba proudly used to mention Dr. Ambedkar in his kirtans and advised people to study like him and become like him. He had a firm belief that education is the backbone of social structure and a strong yet simple tool for overall development of this society. Saint Gargi Maharaj always used to encourage each and every individual for education. He urged people to write to him on the Nasik Dharmashala's address if somebody faced any challenge in continuing his or her education. A student should always be thirsty to acquire new forms of knowledge is what he advocated while highlighting the importance of education. He understood the fact that one can manufacture materialistic things in a factory, but human values are and can be imbibed only through Kirtan. That's why he used Kirtan as a mode of enlightenment of people. The collection of 10 principles laid down by Baba in itself is a remarkable philosophy of shaping entire mankind. Baba's Kirtan covered all the topics. He gave solutions to every aspect of social disturbance through his discourse that is Kirtans. During Kirtans, Baba used to raise both his hands and ask people to follow him and then chant Gopala Gopala Devki Nandan Gopala. Baba asked people to stop worshipping God in the form of idols and statues and refrain from every superstitious activity. The same person who denied God in the form of a stone did ask people to adapt Namasmaran that is constantly remembering God and doing a rhythmic chanting of his name. He suggested that instead of condemning others, let God's name prevail on your tongue by constantly chanting Gopala Gopala. Baba advised people that instead of worshipping God in the form of a stone, recognize the real God hidden in every human being. 
Baba stressed the importance of treating every human being with the utmost humanity. This act is the real worship to God, is what he always advocated. Though Baba was against idolatry, he never ever uttered a single word of dishonor against anybody's God. Baba also underlined the aspect of redemption from debt in his awakening discourses of Kirtans. Redemption from debt is termed as Runamochan in Hindi or Runamochan in Marathi language. Redemption means free from beneficence, that is, rin or debt. To get free from all type of debts, serve your mother and father, your guru and the society. Baba used to awaken people by asking them not to become a slave of a landlord by borrowing debt. Baba never sat idle. He used to work for the people wherever he went. He used to cut the wood for someone or plow in somebody's farm, lend a helping hand in lifting the luggage of some elderly woman, borrow a broom from someone and start cleaning the dirt or waste found in the temple. If broom wasn't available, Baba used to collect dry plant branches from somebody's farm or from the litter lying on the ground and clean the whole area using them. Along with this, he used to broom all the nearby lanes and subways too. If someone offered roti, he used to accept half of it and move ahead to seek some dry vegetable or chutney from other houses and consume it by sitting on some random stone with water collected in a soil pot for drinking. Spend the rest of the day by sitting under some tree of a pasture or uncultivated land. As the night prevails, Baba used to sing bhajan and kirtan in a temple or a chok on the rhythm of cracking sound generated by two pieces of stones held in his hand. Then pass the rest of the night sleeping under a tree and start next journey before the villagers woke up. Do not get entangled anywhere. If you sense that you are getting lured by something or getting trapped in some unwanted thing, then immediately leave that place. Baba's journey continued in the quest of numerous questions of human beings. He used to roam among common people, ask minimal food what they eat. He saw their miseries and realized that various desires, lack of education, absence of cleanliness, superstition, morality, etc are the root cause of it. After seeing this asymmetry in the society, Baba vigorously started his work. He began his mission right from his house. He quit his married life midway. He left the house to help the needy ones and to serve the weak and orphans along with chanting God's name is how his peregrination began. All the work done by him with the selfless motive started becoming his identity and people gradually started to know and acknowledge his greatness. Wearing tattered clothes, carrying an iktara, which is a one-stringed musical instrument in one hand, with immense observational skills, Baba used to conduct kirtans in the most simple Varadi dialect that every villager would understand. His voice, filled with compassion, always caused the desired effect on his audience who vowed to leave all type of addictions. Sometimes he resorted to harsh words to convey the right message through his kirtan and awaken the people around him with their minds filled with self-consciousness. Whatever experiences he had during his journeys, he effectively used it as a tool to construct his kirtans and pass on the apt message to his audience. The Messiah of Downtrodden strong visionary of education, compassionate approach towards every living being, idealistic and scientific mindset, an ideological reformer, a kirtankar inspired by self-wisdom, an astute varikari, a selfless yogi and social reformer saint are some of the major key attributes of Baba's life. Whenever people think of social enlightenment, a firm image of Saint Gadge Maharaj stands in front of them who played a crucial role of a lamppost of enlightenment in the society. This great reformist saint born in Maharashtra on 23rd of February 1876 worked relentlessly with his heart and soul for the society until 20th of December 1956 when his soul left for its heavenly abode.